Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Mana. I'm Serious JG. We got sparkly people flying around. Man, I was waiting for this thing to cycle over because I wanted to crack a joke on the opening line of text, but then my mouse kind of got unresponsive just long enough that I couldn't do that. So now we got a little so the leafy bastards, and there's Niccolo, the guy who truly hates the leafy bastards. Um, Pearl, at least, uh, yeah, we now are far enough in the game to know who some of these people are. There's Pearl and what's her name, the, the Jumi Knight, who defends Pearl. There's that tree that gives us adult novelty seeds. There's a dragon knight dog and a good dragon lady, good dragon dog lady, otherwise known as dragon bitch. There's Cat Lady, who's part of the fairy quest. There's Asshole Guy that we murdered. Stone Face. Yeah, like, okay, so these characters... We're now played far enough in that we recognize them, even if in a lot of cases... We still don't know what their deal is. We got the various wisdoms, which... Don't really seem to get a whole lot of explanation for who they are, or what they're trying to do. But yeah, let's actually sit through the intro again now and see just how much it all comes together. We know that we can place various as fuck items on this map to create new exciting worlds to explore. Often lengthy dungeons where there's nothing really to do if you don't know what's going on in the story. There we see that the girl has a butt and boobs. There's the Sword of Mana, which will unlock the end game. It's kind of what it does. Like at any point we could go end the game now because if you want to get the ending and credits, you just get the Sword of Mana, basically. And we got that. So everything from here is just uh, gravy. Story gravy. And uh, I don't know how I went this long without noticing it, but I just noticed that the fact that I've been using the web page, I thought it had this like kind of nice uh, background of just the Tree of Mana and a skyline that includes the Tree of Mana off to the right. And maybe it's just certain pages, but this Tree of Mana is bobbing up and down. I never noticed that before. That's freaking me out now. Pretty sure it's not me. Pretty sure it actually is bobbing up and down. Anyways, um... So yeah, we, uh, last time, we, um... Defeated Ultimate Evil Darkness, uh, Dragon Draconis, who was a jerk. And now our dog friend is able to, uh... You know, spend a little time in hell, but eventually he will... Like, he's got like a thousand year curse to live off, or... Yeah, how was that a good ending for him? I don't know. But at any rate, he's, um... His soul survives, and he and his sister, because, um... They're brother and sister. I wasn't... I, I had guessed they were going to turn out to be lovers, but, uh, they're brother and sister, and... No, I'm not going to get into whether or not they could be both. Um... I haven't watched Game of Thrones that recently. But, um... Yeah. They're going to be reunited someday. It's just going to be, like, in a thousand years or whatever. So let's, uh... Talk to Bud, because I haven't talked to him in a while. Take me with you. He's got wicked spells. Alright. It's been a while since we took Bud or Lisa along for a journey. Maybe we'll go on a journey. But what we've got to do right now is get into the Penguin Arc in the Quiet Sea. So, excuse me, I believe we made the SS Buccaneer already. And now, we've got to go there. So let's go there. Cluster of those guys is really getting on my nerves, actually. I don't hate them like Niccolo hates them, but um, let's just say that I uh, understand where his feelings are coming from. SS Buccaneer. Yarr. Yeah, I would, I would guess this has to be placed on water. I'm not willing to depart from the walkthrough. I live in fear of missing one line of... Uh, Optional story dialogue, but, um... You, know, you can see... All mana spirits... <sighs> Backed up! I really had the tree of mana! But as we pull out here, we got, um... Gnome and Shade are particularly weakened, and, uh... The others are at various degrees of strength. And yeah, by the way, when you see pirate ships, walk right on board, it's no problem. Don't worry about what happened to Prince Alexander in uh, King's Quest 4. He was just, uh... I'm sorry, King's Quest 3. What am I 
doing? I walked someplace without switching back to the FAC. So we're on the quarter deck. FAC says go left, down, second door from the end. And then we got somebody to talk to. Oh, sorry. Let's play in the evening. I probably shouldn't do that, but um, I'm actually visiting family this weekend, uh, so um, I got a let's play on my own time, as my niece would tell me. So left. I guess we did come the right direction, so no need to panic. Explore and have fun here for a bit. Captain's captain. I want to become a real dandy man of the sea like our captain. He's the monarch of the sea. And you gotta stop saying those stupid jokes of yours. So if I just stop saying me jokes, it'll be a dandy. It'll be more than just jokes. Dandy be a way of life you'll never understand. God damn it. I always figure, like, if you get a whole dialogue, then there'll be a second, shorter bit of talk just one of the two characters will have, and this game don't work that way. Oh, you Captain Tusk, leader of them, they're pirate penguins. So they're not a penguin yourself, I see. Well, how do you like the ship? Ain't she a beaut? Hi. Haha, <laughs> sounds like you've got what it takes to be a man of the sea. Ye have the ability to tell me what I want to hear, and that is what is truly required. If we'd said no, we would have been viciously murdered, because these are, you know, pirates. Not the Pirates of Dark Water. I remember really enjoying You remember the Pirates of Dark Water? You, the viewer at home? I, uh, I, I really liked that show. Because it debuted as, like, a five-part, uh, like it aired on the same day of the week, Mondays through Fridays, as, like, um, kind of serialized adventure. I really liked, and then um, I guess it, I don't know if it was always going to be continued or if it got renewed. That was like the, the trial period, but it came back later uh, in more of an episodic format where every story was like there was vaguely a long term goal, but it was self contained. And I was like, no, oh. I enjoyed it. It's like the like Charles Dickens style um, serialized adventure. That was like that's what I grew up on Bell and Sebastian, Ancient Cities of Gold, Spartacus. Etc. It doesn't beats being a man of the sea. Well, I'm Ram Tiger. Um, ach, I'm Ram Tiger, the SS Buccaneers, the Osman. Which direction do you want to go? Okay, so I don't know how we're meant to know this. The fact gives me specifics. I kind of feel like, uh,. Oh, choose south, east, east. Okay, but why? So it says south, east, east. I'm, I think I am going to go against the fact and see what happens if we get it wrong here. Uh, no, like... Ain't it great? The rockin' don't make me seasick. Which direction you want to go? Uh, south. Ain't great? Crabs are delicious. Uh, west. Lies beyond the horizon. Sure, if you want to go. North. Memories were made here. Uh, east. Supervise all the food you need. Great. Ding, 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 ding. Enemies on deck. Go get rid of them. Okay, well. Oh, that's the wrong button, but... You're playing boss music for this fight, too.
Good job. You defeated a boss too, according to the music. Like your sister did. Another beats a man at the sea. I'm Rams Tiger. All right, so this way we'll follow their directions. I guess you just fiddle with it. For, like, I, there's nothing in here to why we would know it's this. Oh, south, east, east. I tried to get back to where we were and then go south, south, east, because I messed up. So south. Yeah, great. Diesel muzzles and cats pads. East. Hmm? What's that I see? The captain wants to see you. Come to his captain right away. Cabin, I mean. Oh, here there'll be a treasure map hidden in the Mekiv caverns. And where there'll be caverns, there'll be the diggers. We gotta hurry. Wanna go get the map with the penguins, matey? Hi. All right. Show him who's a real man. Mekiv caverns entrance, and I think this wasn't what was supposed to happen. Yep, this wasn't actually what was supposed to happen. Um, so this is probably supposed to happen later. Oh, for crying out loud. Alright, this is what I get for not following the... Uh, we're going ahead. You can stay here and make pudding out of that pumpkin there. The treasure. So yeah, clearly we're supposed to do this quest at some point. It's just not. The fact doesn't want us to do it right now, so. Just waiting to get control back so that I can load. That big load's got more. Alright, return to title screen. Yes. Eliminate memory of this video from mankind's consciousness. Yes, did I get an autosave? I did, but it's at Mech of Cavern, so never mind. Oh, well. This is. Probably doesn't hurt anything for me to do that in that sequence, but um, I don't understand enough. Uh, you all the for Bud, your adventures on the pirate ship have been lost in uh, time and space. But yeah, no, I don't understand enough about what can make things go wrong to feel like taking chances here. So surely we'll get to go big. big don't call me Shirley. Surely we'll get to go back and do that at some point. But for now, let's do what the fact told us and go south, east, east. And probably just goofing around at that place triggers different things. But I mean, it doesn't appear to be random. It appears to matter which directions you, you tell it. So even though no time is... Like, I, if I was playing this as a kid, I would assume... He's just humoring you, and, like, the guy's just messing with you, and the, and the ship's not actually traveling anywhere, considering no time passes before he says, Here we are! Well, the crabs sure are great! I got great memories of this place! Maybe we were supposed to go down. Feel the energy of the sea. Feel the electricity as the rock enters. Okay, so there's enemies here. That's... Oh, see, you appear here, but this doesn't take you... Well, how the hell do you leave this place? I guess if you want to leave. This ship is apparently Hotel California. This is where we appear, but if we actually go back that way, we just end up in a different part of the deck. So, uh, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. That or this place is like the, um... All right, now we're in this guy's wheelhouse. Fantasy games, that's my wheelhouse. He's Ramstiger. Which direction do you want to go? Ain't it great that the sea provides all the food you could need? 
which direction do ye wanna go? It's Ramsh Tigger. Ain't it great? I keep sailing forever, which direction do you wanna go? Ain't it great? This always makes me philosophical. Shiver me timbers, the wind stops blowing. The quiet sea. Okay, well, we triggered the right quest this time. Oh, the wind, the ship can't go. Can't move. Go fish or something. Okay, nothing beats the. Wait. Nothing beats being a man of the sea. Without wind, the ship can't go. So he doesn't seem concerned about it. He's just like, yeah, stop bothering me now. There's no wind. I can't do anything. Can't do anything cool or fun. <laughs> yeah, no wind, man. Ruined everything. Okay. Go back to the top deck and talk to the penguin there. And we have to leave and go back. No wind, and that'd be good for fishing. Oh, you know what? I might be confused about which deck. Yeah, this is a quarter deck. Oh, shoot, never mind. Okay, never mind. Thought I figured something out. I fished up this here bottle, but the stock was shut tight. Huh? Ghost or a bad ghost? Uncle JG, when you die, will you come haunt me, but in a nice way like Casper? What a What a beautiful ship, I like it. Ghost A good 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 guy who makes me stutter. You ever heard of the one about um this guy had a giant pumpkin for a head? So his friend sees him and is like, oh my god, what happened to you? You got a giant pumpkin for a head. And the guy with the giant pumpkin for a head says, oh, well, see what happened was, I found this, uh, this magic lamp and I rubbed it, right? And a genie came out of the lamp and the genie was like, oh, I've been in there for like 10,000 years. Oh, man, go ahead, you can have three wishes. And his friend says, oh, man, what did you wish for? And for the, he says, well, for the first wish, I wish for like a million dollars and bam. I had a million dollars. And uh, his friend says, Yeah, but the giant pumpkin head. I mean, what did you wish for in the second wish? And the giant pumpkin head guy says, Oh, in the second wish, I wish for like this really beautiful, sexy lady to be my wife. And like, damn, I had this beautiful, sexy lady who was being my wife. And um, the guy says, Yeah, but what about, what about your third wish? And the guy says, Oh, the third wish? That's where I really blew it. I wish I had the giant pumpkin for a head. Thank you, Norman Donald, for making us laugh about giant pumpkin heads. Okay. Alright, maybe we can find the captain here. This is a ladder way. I think we're actually looking for the captain according to the fact. supposed to talk to the ghost, but that doesn't seem to be getting us anywhere. So I don't know which one of these rooms has the, uh, Captain's say cabin. Yeah, the the uh, ah. in fact doesn't actually explain that well how to navigate. It says you're supposed to go to the captain's quarters, but oh, dang it! Why would the why would the pirates have a mimic on their ship? Are they expecting to get robbed by other pirates? 
got 40 Luger for that. Huzzah. I even knew these were going to be uh, mimics, and I just kind of slightly touched the wrong button on the controller before I could, like, one step in their direction was enough in this case. So I think I've better rewards from the ghosty than from the, uh... See, that looks like it should be a wear out. But you got better rewards from the ghost you than from any of the treasure box mimics. Ever the optimist, I figured some of these were probably real. Ooh, a messy scroll. It's got a dirty spell on it. Going through a more extensive exploration of this deck than I had intended. I think we gotta get on the other side of the uh Oh that's the main deck. got to it going down these stairs at least once. And I think I'm making this more complicated than it really is, but um, almost positive we came over this way, and this was the right, yeah, this is the deck house. This is not the main deck, this is the deck house. It's a different location. It'll be real dandy. And they just go home and be a dandily man. It's a way of life. Parents just don't understand, Danny Man. You gotta put the ghost back into the bottle and return him to the sea. But you have to find the bottle first. Be a real man of the sea and go solve the problem. I'll be a real dandy and stand here being well dressed. Okay. Well. So it's a quest to find the bottle. Go to the captain's quarters and talk to him at the top of the screen. Go to the forecastle deck and down the stairs. Wow, this sounds this does not sound like something that would be easy to figure out on your own at all. So this is we gotta go to the forecastle deck, go down the stairs, left door, okay, top wall downstairs and search the barrel. So there's all sorts of barrels. It, it, this one doesn't turn out to be marked in a very special way. I'm calling bullshit on this. This game of wheelhouse isn't going to do us any good at this point. Nope, didn't mean to do that. At least we're not encountering a lot of enemies, just occasionally something pops up. Here's a place for an intended, original, non-Champion Edition Turbo PS4 save. not seen Lower Decks, the Star Trek show, I kind of feel like if I wanted to watch Adult Swim cartoons, I would watch Adult Swim, but uh, Anyway, 
We got Stargazer, aka Kalaja. That's um, something else. Oh, okay. Well, maybe this this might be suspicious. But if I didn't know I was looking for a barrel, I don't think I would be paying any mind at all to this. is getting pretty aggressive there with the melee attacks. Got a Minnow Spear. Okay, so that wasn't... Turned out not to be anything after all. Alright, so we got a little bit of uh, searching around to do. This feels like a regular old RPG. It certainly feels like, uh, although actually this this was highly missing from the remake, Trials of Mana, but it feels like it's like in Denzetsu 3 for anybody who played that on, I suppose, original hardware if uh, you are of the Japanese persuasion for the rest of us on an emulator. Um, because that game featured huge sprawling dungeons with lots of dead ends that you didn't need to go to at all. And as ever, I, Let's Play makes me so impatient. I, I would be far more patient with exploring a dungeon like this if I wasn't trying to A, maintain, you know, patter, and B, thinking that, the, you know, small as my audience is, there are some people who are watching this who'd probably like to see an advancement occur during this video. On my own, I'd be, I'd normally be a lot more patient with this, and finding the same thing in, uh... Yeah, well, I won't talk about it the last place right now, but yeah, I'm definitely, like, this is consistent. RPG style or action game, I'm just, like... Want something to be happening. Don't come over here again. Tusk wants to see you. Okay, well anyway, here's the here's the where we're supposed to be, and it do, it is kind of very bright and sticking out compared to other objects. Tusk wants to see you. Tell the captain I flew south of the flock. Don't come over here. Leave me alone. The ghost is gone. Yeah, right. I can see through your lies. Don't believe Andor's lies. Pretty girl is here. Pretty girl. Back from the beach, maybe. Well, there's actually two pretty girls here. Uh, Lisa's pretty young, but... Oh, pretty lady, where are you? Oh, nice lady! Oh, here you go. It's the bottle the ghost came out of. Cool. Cool beans. Alright. Do I have enough time in this video to... Ah, let's just finish it. This video will go slightly long. Let's finish the quest in this video. I guess we can go talk to the captain. This way, hurry! Never mind, I guess we'll go this way. And we'll hurry. Now, traditionally, you fight a giant ghost on the deck of the pirate ship. Yep, appears to be what's going on. Skull Splitter and he moved away. I haven't noticed whether he's... It looks like he's sucking life out of people. I haven't noticed if it actually is restoring his life. But, uh... Oh, wow, he knocked me dizzy with this little spinning around routine. And he's got much wider shoulders than uh, wrists, which I guess is normal, but... The difference between his upper arm and uh, lower arm width is pretty extreme. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. He's going for his suck attack move. I should have evaded that better. This well placed magic attack gave me time to get clear. Out attack. And she got more than halfway killed from one attack by this guy. And he's definitely getting some life back from those. Okay, here we go. Oh, damn it. He was stunned, it was a super brief. I missed the skull splitter again. But I believe we're still going to win here. And, uh, very sweet. Luger is up. Well done. You're a real man of the sea. Here. It ain't much, but I want you to have this. Is it something as fuck? No, it's Altena Alloy. Okay. We'd probably make a pretty good weapon out of that and then pour 800 shade coins into it since I did that off screen. And by 800, I mean like. I think I have like seven or eight bronze because I was trying to get at least two gold or silver because I was trying to at least get two, two gold but they drop very infrequently anyways um, let's go home talk a little cactus save our game put a card face down in our graveyard and end our turn which is apparently not a real thing you can do in Yu-Gi-Oh I just misheard something in some like the, the one or two episodes I saw of Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, carried it with me forever. Into the graveyard. Well, goodbye. Try not to have a breakdown without me. Sure. No, I mean, I say that like I'm disappointed in her. It's not like Bud wouldn't have ditched us, too. Dot, dot, dot. Talk to him. See you, ghost? Yeah, I just told you. One of these days, I'm going to remember not to bother check, like trying to check with that leaf until after I've left the room and given Little Cactus a chance to actually write something. The Monarch of the Sea. Okay, um... Drowned Dreams? Thought I saw it for a second. The Quiet Sea. Penguin reeled in a bottled ghost, and all the penguins on the ship ended up collapsing. That is really scary, but I wonder how the ghost fit inside a bottle. And yeah, don't give me too much to do with that comedically there, uh, little cactus. Alright. Well. I keep saving, I keep I'm retaining this really old slot where we got all dragon, but, uh, seems unlikely we're ever going to be going back that far. However, you never know. What I do know is that when we come back next time, uh, we will be uh, trying to look for Putty in a quest called Where's Putty? I can see the treasure chest, uh, the treasure map quest. It's like, it is listed as the next Penguin Arc quest, but it is not the next quest we will be pursuing. When will we do the treasure map? You'll just have to keep tuning in to find out. Catch you guys next time.